sample footage I'm going to be working with today, the first thing you're going to do is skim through the clip in which you wish the effect to take place. Once you have that, you can quickly mark it by pressing the letter M on your keyboard. Select your clip, head over to the video inspector, under transform, set the scale from anywhere between 106 to 116 depending on the footage, and then add a keyframe to it. Head back down to the timeline, go forward two frames by using the right arrow key on your keyboard. In the video inspector, set the transform scale to 100. Back to the timeline, move backwards four frames using the left arrow key. And then head back up to the transform tool to set the scale back to 100. And here's the result for now. Now that's all done, let's add some motion blur to it. Simply select your clip, bring out the effects browser, in the search bar, type in focus. Select that and then apply it to your clip. In the focus tool, set the amount to roughly around 10 and then set the emphasis to its maximum. And don't forget to add a keyframe to the amount as well. Once you've got that, go down to your clip, go forward two frames using the right arrow key. Back to the focus tool, set the amount to zero. In your timeline, go backward four frames using the left arrow key. And then set the focus amount back to zero. If you'd like to make changes or any adjustment to the keyframes, simply right click on your clip and then select Show Video Animation. You can always expand your workspace by pressing Command Plus on your keyboard. To move the entire set of keyframes, simply hold Shift and then select the first and then the last keyframe. And please feel free to adjust it as much as you want. This is completely optional, but if you want to, you could also add some RGB effect using the PRISM tool. To copy and paste keyframes to the beat of the music, simply hold shift, select the first and last keyframe, press option shift and then C, skim over to the next beat of your music, paste the set of keyframes by pressing option shift and then V. Once again, feel free to move it around and adjust it accordingly. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this tutorial somewhat helpful. And if you did, please leave it a like and also subscribe for more short Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. Good luck with your project and I'll see you back next week. Bye bye.